Football Friday Night is brought to you by Steve's Pest Control. Now you have a friend in the pest control business. Call Steve's Pest Control. Rourke Aluminum, quality home exterior since 1953. Fulton Ford, you'll drive away happy. Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning and Custom Screen Printing. It's Football Friday Night. Here's Rod Smith. A cool night for second round district play in high school football. 18 mid-Missouri teams made it through the opening round last week. We'll show you who's still alive after tonight. We'll begin in suburban Kansas City, the state's fourth ranked Jefferson City Jays. Nine and one, their only loss to top ranked CBC early this season. Ted LePage and company had won eight straight. Hadn't lost a game since August 28th. JC facing the state's third ranked Jaguars from Blue Springs South. They would score an early touchdown, 7 0. Jerome Hawkins breaks free for Blue Springs South. This, a 49 yard run, sets up another Jaguar touchdown. Jay Birds trailed 14 0 after one quarter. Jeff City finds the end zone here in the second period. Gunner C reaches out on the keeper. That's a touchdown, 14 to seven game. But the Jags would add a touchdown to make it 21 seven at the half. Jefferson City early in the second half. Gunner C touchdown, five yards. It was 21 13 in the rain. But that was as close as Jeff City would get. Tempers flared on both sides here. Blue Spring South stays unbeaten. 11 0, a 48 to 21 win. Tough way to finish. But a very good season for Ted LePage and the Jays. They ended 9-2, their only losses to number one CBC and third rank Blue Springs South. Class 5 defending state champion Battle Spartans. They got a bye last week in district opening round play. Before that, they lost two straight games. Very good Jeff City and Hannibal teams beat them. Look at that guy, Brad Draley, the former Blair Oaks Falcon coach, coaching Waynesville, visiting Tigers, strike first. In this one, Ethan Brown quick to Seth Hedrick, gets away from the defender, takes it all the way, a 74-yard touchdown. Waynesville had the early 6-0 lead, but battle would battle back from there. Quarterback Brevin Tyler, the late pitch to Cry Rome. Thorpe rambles 37 yards, nice move. Down to the Tiger 12-yard line, the Spartans would punch it over on the first play of the second quarter. Hunter Smith goes in from a yard out, Battle up 7 to 6. Spartans led it 28 to 6 at the half. They go on to win it 49 to 32. And the Spartans move on to a district championship game. They will play Lebanon. Justin Britt's alma mater. The Yellow Jackets beat Washington 40 to 28. So the Jackets will go to battle next week. Smith Cotton losing their first game of the season. They got a bye last week. They end up 9 and 1. Belton wins it 54 to 28. Tigers end the season. The Helias Crusaders traveling to Hannibal tonight. Tough test facing the sixth ranked unbeaten Pirates. One of the best teams, maybe the best ever at Hannibal. Last time they played, well, Hannibal led 35 to nothing at halftime. Helias defense has improved a lot since then. The offense has two. The pitch to Alex Werner. Nice gain for Helias in the white and blue. But Hannibal would score the first three touchdowns, 21-0 Pirates, until Alex Fadul finds Dalton Weaver for the touchdown, 21-7. But Hannibal goes on to win this one, 35-14. The Pirates are 11-0. Helias ends the year at 4-7. Hannibal will host the winner of this one, Mexico and Warrenson game. Steve Haggs, Mexico Bulldogs, 9-1, ranked number 9 in Class 4. They've had an outstanding season. Spencer Thomas, the quarterback keeper. Look at this short punt by Warrenton, picked up by number 72, Jalen Lee. And look at him rumble all the way for the touchdown, senior Jalen Lee. With a memory, with a memorable run back there on the punt return. Mexico rolls 38-14 the final. The dogs are 10 and 1. They will head to Hannibal for the district title game next Friday night. What a year this has been for the Blair Oaks Falcons. 10 games, 10 wins, ranked number two in the state. And Eldon, the Mustangs, after losing the first three games earlier this season, or three of the first four, they had quietly won six in a row heading into tonight's game. Tri-County Conference rematch from week number three when Blair Oaks beat Eldon 62 to 47. A combined 109 points. There were a lot of points tonight. 
Almost all for Blair Oaks. First drive, Jordan Hare, the quarterback to Cody Alexander, 15-yard touchdown. Falcons go for two. Cody Alexander from the Wildcat. It's eight to nothing. Watch Alexander, number three on defense. Eldon pass tipped, and he makes the great one-handed interception. That sets up a second touchdown for Blair Oaks. Hare keeps it, 23 yards. And Alexander adding a two-point conversion. It was 16 to nothing after one quarter. Big second period for Blair Oaks. Hare to Adam Shell, 36-yard pass. First play of the second period. It's 22-0. Moments later, Hare to the air again. Pretty pass to C.J. Klosser. 66-yard connection. It's 30 to nothing. Blair Oaks. Hare would connect with Adam Shell two more times before halftime. 35 yards and 41 yards. It was 44 zip at the half. The Falcons over 400 yards in the first half, holding Eldon to less than 100. Jordan Hare had seven touchdown passes tonight for 466 yards as Blair Oaks wins it 58 to 6. The Falcons are 11 and 0 on the season. They gave, gave up 47 points last time they beat Elder beat Eldon. They didn't give up many tonight, only six. The other semifinal in class three in the district in Fulton. We had a great time at the home of the Hornets at our football Friday night live broadcast at five and six tonight. Thanks to the Fulton cheer squad and the fabulous Fulton band. Pat Kelly's eight and two Hornets taking on the surging Southern Boone Eagles from Ashland. The visiting Eagles from Sobo Cohen White. They scored two quick touchdowns. Laron Wallace the run and this 80 yard connection. Dane Bosser to Grant Anderson. It was 12 nothing Southern Boone, but that was just the beginning of a busy night of touchdowns. Fulton coming back, Devin Masick to Radarian Glover, open in the corner of the end zone. Hornets playing without the injured Travis Dean, who had rushed for a school record 1,900 plus yards in the first 10 games of the year, out with a partial ACL tear. Fulton, though, led it 27-20 at the half. A lot more in the second half. Fulton wins it 61-48. to the Hornets are 9 and 2, a perfect 7 0 on the home turf. They'll play at Blair Oaks next week. More Class 3 district play in Boone County tonight. The 9 and 1 Centralia Panthers, ranked number 7 in the state. Earl Bennett's Panthers playing Orchard Farm. Centralia's Clayton Marty, the 12 yard touchdown early. More Panthers. Jackson Evans, short touchdown for Centralia. And watch this nice hold by the Centralia offensive line. Tyler Dorman. He will go 60 yards. All Panthers tonight. Centralia has this thing going 49 to 7. They'll play for a district title next week. They are 10 and 1 on the season, and they will get Wright City coming to Boone County. They beat Christian 28 to 17. So the Panthers will get a chance for a district title against Wright City. The Osage Indians. Good season for Devin Johnson's team. They fall tonight on the road at a very good Mountain Grove team's home turf. 24 to 13 the final. The Indians come home. Their season is over. Class 2 semifinal in Columbia. Our KRCG Hy-Vee High School team of the season. Actually a team of the week, I should say. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Tolton Trailblazers coming off a first ever district win in school history. Looking for number two hosting Hallsville tonight. Tolton would jump out to a 14-0 lead. Indians fight back on defense. Logan Lindsay recovers the fumble. Hallsville would turn that into points. Jaden Kilpack takes the hand, goes in. Great effort, breaking several tackles. He goes in, 14-6 game. Tolton would answer. Big run for Will. The thrill, Tyndall refuses to go down. He'll take it 20 yards deep into Hallsville territory. Blazers get on the board late in the half. Trip Gibson floats it to the end zone. Carson McCarty makes the grab giving Tolton a 21 to 6 lead as the Trailblazers get their 10th win of the season 35 to 12. Tolton moves on to the district title game 10 wins a school record. They will play Higginsville a very tough matchup next week but it is in Columbia Higginsville beats Cole Camp 38 to nothing. The North Callaway Thunderbirds traveling to Northeast Missouri a big challenge here facing the Palmyra Panthers number 10 team in class two t birds in white. That's Wyatt Branson on the kick return takes it to the house 78 yards in the TD North Callaway had taken the early lead in this game on a Milo Henry touchdown but Henry the quarterback went down with an injury and did not return Palmyra went on to win it 53 to 12. The Panthers are 9 and 2. North Callaway ends the season at 5 and 6. 
Meanwhile, Fayette's season comes to a close. The Falcons lose to Marceline 60 to nothing. Westran keeps winning the Hornets 52-14 over Santa Fe. And it was Paris, the Coyotes. They'll keep playing for a district title next week, beating Scotland County 42-31. One high school game tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock on the road. Herman, the Bearcats go to Lutheran North. The Mizzou basketball teams will open exhibition play next week tonight. Both the Tiger men and women hosting Halloween and hoops at Mizzou Arena. A little prelude to trick-or-treating tomorrow night. And a chance to meet the 2015-2016 Tiger players. Both teams held inter-squad scrimmages. The women play a preseason game next Wednesday against Southwest Baptist. The Tiger men play a week from tonight hosting Missouri Western. Back to our high school football coverage, our coveted Steve's Pest Control Defensive Pest of the Week honors go to Cody Alexander from Blair Oaks. Man, they scored a lot of points and they play some defense at Blair Oaks too. Look at that nifty one-handed interception for Cody Alexander, our Steve's Pest Control Defensive Pest of the Night. And KRCG Football Friday Night Team of the Night honors go to the Fulton Hornets. Pat Kelly's team rolls to a 61 a 48 victory tonight. The Hornets are 9 and 2 on the season. They are 7 and 0 at home. Had a great time out at Fulton live at 5 and 6 tonight with our football Friday night preview. Congrats to Fulton, our team of the night. So we have eight teams left still in the playoffs from mid Missouri. Of course, those are Battle, Mexico, Blair Oaks, Fulton, Centralia, Tolton, Westran, Paris, maybe Herman tomorrow. That's it for a football Friday night. Thanks to our KRCG crew, Tony Mullen, Josh Curlett, Con Costin, Steven Slight, Jenny Weiser, and director Phil Cap. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Football Friday night has been brought to you by Steve's Pest Control. Now you have a friend in the pest control business. Call Steve's Pest Control. Rourke Aluminum, quality home exterior since 1953. Fulton Ford, you'll drive away happy. Kempker Heating and Air Conditioning and Custom Screen Printing.